gonna name him George. Absolutely no relation to George of the Jungle. Anyway, here we go. We got ourselves Shy Guy. I believe from the Westchester area. Um, I, I, was, I was told. Something yeah, like that. Your guess is as good as mine. I did, so. you, you forget. There's this <laughs> house of 3000s. Very own helper. Yeah. He's been making some pretty uh making some pretty decent waves uh with his uh King DDD and his Bowser recently. Oh my goodness. He's definitely like uh definitely a connoisseur of the heavy boys around this time. I yeah. believe he played Diddy in the last game, but uh switching over to DDD, you know, or uh, switching over to DDD and Bowser because I don't know, you know, this is the universal ch change of the jump squad for M3. DDD main and brawl, thank oh, you okay. very much to uh, omnipotent voice from the heavens. <laughs> very much appreciate that. All right, so, and since DDD uh, is generally considered to at least be a little bit better in this game, I guess he's going to wind up switching back to that. But Shy Guy, rocking the patented Pokemon trainer, one of the uh, most prominent uh, top tiers, or arguably not, Leffen doesn't think so. <laughs> and then this here game, Pokemon Stadium Game 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, I think one of the main things is that DDD's big. Might have difficulty getting around um, uh, laser recently, but that up there is going to take um, Helper's first stock. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the big thing with, like, DDD. I mean, there's the whole, like, change to, like, the jump squad, whatever, landing lag, whatever, that makes the heavies so much better than they are and, like, makes them so they can actually fight you. But a disadvantage is still a whole different beast entirely, especially yeah. in this game, you know, like, the changes in mechanics and whatnot. And DDD is just, you know, despite his weight, he is such a thick lad. Just so very big. And the only thing I can think of in this uh, particular match I can see right now that's thicker than he is is that up air and that down air hitbox that Ivysaur has. Bro, they're so packing. big. They're so big, bigger than he is. And so once DDD is actually in disadvantage and gets hit by that once, he should be eating at least three more oh, of those. Again. And right there, exact same spot yeah. on the top left part is where he going to, he's going to die again. And he wasn't even... His percent was high, but like for he wasn't like DDD high percent. Yeah, DDD's you know, like... In terms of survivability, like overall, he, he lives for a while. Yeah, DDD is one of the heaviest characters in the game. Not the heaviest, I yeah. believe that goes to Bowser. But yeah, uh, yeah DDD, of course, one of the heaviest lads as well. So, But that's not going to matter with a hitbox as big and as powerful as that. I think he died around the same relative percent as well, which is a little bit lower than DDD percent, as I feel we should be calling it. Yeah. But helper down, but not out. You know, if he's able to just get a little bit of a fair string here, potentially gimp the Ivysaur right here if he's able to get a Gordo into some, uh, a Gordo conversion into some sort of aerial. But Shy Guy, gonna regain stage control real quick. Oh, and gonna absolutely gonna wow. not let that happen. Converting the grab into the uppy Dude, right there to finish like helper's last stock, taking game one. One of DDD's like great strengths is that he's heavy and he's hard to gimp because of his upbe. So you're expected to live to like super high percentages, but like when you have a kill confirm like Ivysaur, like down throw into um down throw in the uh, vine whip, like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, look at that. Look at that again. He, and if anything, he it should be a little easier. That, he got that grab at 92 percent. Yeah. 92. DDDs don't usually die that early. It's one of those things that you know, like I feel like a heavy player like relies on so much, or at very least like a lower tiered heavy character like DDD, you know, because. DDD is good, but like he is generally considered to not be as good as like some of the other heavies, like uh, DK and Bowser, particularly. You know, so right there, you know, like if your heavy doesn't have like anything like too prominent, any kill confirms of their own, it's gonna be a little rough against a character with such like strong and prominent and huge hitboxes like Ivysaur, like we uh, said before. You know, it's how much. How much are you going to be able to compensate for like being in disadvantage as often as you will be playing a character as big as DDD? Bowser, oh on the goodness. other hand, you know, a little oh different, my, relatively oh, big. Oh, tell okay, me, Squirtle okay. and Mario are not the same character. Uh, maybe. I've had this argument before. I'm telling you, up air, up air, up air, off of a grab to get those strings. They both have flood. Yeah. Okay. They both have flood, which is another thing. They what both about the, the, turtles. The... Mario's right. from a game with turtles. Okay. And look, look at that. Here's the turtle from his game. Oh, well, that's it. There he goes. <laughs> down to the bottom lasso. You want to talk about those down-air hitboxes again. They're not just huge, they also do go through the stage. Oh, Re reminiscent of a Falcon Stomp, like in Melee, if you would. Oh, he went for it again. And just like that, Helper's first stock is already gone. He's going to get another grab for his troubles, but no more is Bowser a grappler. He actually fights you in this game now because of the changes yeah. to the jump squad and no more uh, silly grab confirms. Except for the side beat, frame five command grab, ladies and gentlemen. You get grabbed with that, you know, you will be dying at some pretty wonky percents as well. Yeah. It's such, just such a quick option that you need to keep in mind for Bowser. But Squirtle oh Bowser, man, just able to keep him in disadvantage for so long, get all these true combos, reminiscent of Mario or Pichu a little bit, when you really think of, like, this small character that can just yeah. get around Bowser and just keep him in disadvantage forever. And now switching to Ivysaur to try and oh get those goodness, giant hitbox kills. Crap. It almost killed. Oh, it beat and out that down time here. it does. It beat out down here. Wow. That was like a zero to death. Shy Guy didn't get touched at all that stock. Oh, man. This is looking relatively rough for our bar helper here. But the overhead with the forward air. Trying to get a reverse one, actually. I don't know if he was going to try and convert that into a bear or something, but that missed. It would have put him in a... 
Uh, if it hit, you know, and he got the bear, it actually would have put him in a pretty bad spot because then, you know, he would have had to recover high. And if if Shy Guy just, like, was able to avoid all that, he would have been able to just get on stage, potentially down air him through again, and it just would have made a rough spot for Helper. And so far, he's still fighting from below, yeah. but, you know, it's he may be down, but he's not out. If he's able to get, like, some sort of, like, early cheesy kill on uh, Shy Guy right here, like, potentially oh, fair him off yeah. a little bit. Then it is it is possible, but it is looking rough for our boy. The weak hit on the forward smash right there. Not oh, able to do it, but the read. Yeah, the read. Yeah, when you made a heavy, what do you mean too heavy? You got to have those reads on lock. Mm. And already looking a lot better than his DDD because Bowser, of course, can stay in disadvantage for quite some time. But I feel like his comeback factor is a little better because Bowser, I think, uh, just for the most part, has better buttons. Oh, wait, this could be it. Oh, no, never mind. Squirtle's not that strong. God. I feel like Bowser, for the most part, just has better buttons than DDD, you know, especially with, like, neutral air to back air, you know, forward air neutral is another thing. Up, he out of shield is a potent, you know, get off me option. DDD doesn't really have too many of those options. He has, like, phenomenal ledge trapping, and forward air and, like, F-tilt are actually pretty good spacing tools, but they do have lag. Bowser has a lot more options in this game that don't really have as much lag, and just with his aerials combined with, like, the jump squat, I don't know. I feel like Bowser just has an easier time getting out of these situations. And, of course, living longer as well, because he yeah. is heavier than DDD as well. I feel like for what Helper is trying to accomplish in this match, up. I feel like Bowser is the slightly better yeah. pick. But oh, I'm not sure if Shy Guy cares. Break. I'm not sure if Shy Guy cares. He's still all over uh, my man right now, my man Helper. But the side B? Oh, I'm yeah. not sure if he's going to be able Dude, to eat another like... one or two of those. He's switching oh. to Charizard, the I fear. Feel, uh, like falling. I feel like falling. Oh, never mind. Get back air. Straight nice. up. I was going to mention, like, falling there in the back air might be a kill confirm at this percent. But mm. just a raw back air will also do it. Absolutely. That is just that yeah. is just the comeback factor right there. That strong, crazy backer. Let's take a let's take a look at it again. Let's see what percent this man died at. I do believe inquiring minds think it was 85, and I think inquiring Ooh, minds would be so correct. That was so good. He punished the he punished the landing lag and back air, and the Charizard also like tried to run off the, the platform. And it was Zard too. Yeah. You know that just goes to show. You know the just the raw strength of that move. Yeah. Bowser's Have you back seen air. Bowser's legs? They're like stumps. Yeah. Now two of them are being sent your direction. Reminiscent of Leon, the hot kid on the come up, consistently always getting a falling neutral air into a back air. You know, it's just yeah. really pushing, pushing the lanes of what Bowser can do. And Helper, of course, reminiscent of that. What do you say, George? Or what do you, what do you think, my monkey friend? You think Diddy should be better? I think so too. Uh, well, oh, no, just kidding. I don't oh, think George that. had some. Uh, George has some pretty controversial opinions. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to deal with Diddy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. I just, I just tell him that. Okay. I just tell him that. I'm like, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy you'll get buffed. No worries about that. But no Diddy's on screen right now. We're going to get off to one of the most neutral stages we have in our set, Pokemon Stadium 2. And here we go. Game 3, Shy Guy versus Helper. Let's see who wants it more. Ooh. Oh, here comes the combo. Ooh. There you go. Two up airs into the forward air. Ooh. Oh, my God. That was actually kind of yeah, scary was, looking yeah, at those traits. Yeah, scary for both players. Is he dead? He died in anything after the hit. The falling there in the back air. Squirtle got deleted. Y'all can't see it on stream, but our, our, our wonderful stream runner, uh, Devin3000, even he had to put his hands to his head real quick. That killed at a walkie percent. No. My <laughs> goodness, Bowser back air. Squirtle being the light baby. boy. He's just a baby boy. Bro, I, like, you just picked Squirtle. Like, come yeah. on, man. And now it's just, you know, the mark of a trainer. You gotta know, you gotta know when to be which Pokemon yeah. in your particular kid. The formula is that Squirtle racks up damage. Ivysaur's in the middle ground. He can get the kill. And if you're way too high of a percentage, Charizard. And against Bowser, you gotta be kind of careful. Because Bowser kills with some crazy early yeah, percents. So you already saw like, me talking about that back air earlier. Yeah, so, like, the percent she's usually comfortable is, like, saying Squirtle at, it's not safe against Bowser. So you yeah, he might spend more time being Charizard just to survive longer. But this up throw might, might take not. it. Yeah. No, not it, yet. Just, you know, a couple more percent. It probably would have. Yo! The yo, weakest of it! coming down. Yo, 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 Shy Guy, you're, you're mad. Shy Guy, you're mad that that hit you. I'm sorry. Shy Guy, you're going to be furious if oh that hits you. And even more if you can't punish. Actually, air dodging off stage, but this should definitely do it. There you go. The back throw. Able to finish out that stock right there. Shy Guy's still, of course, in this game. We got the star player of the team, uh, Ivysaur, coming out right now. <laughs> Definitely the MVP. Yeah. The MVP is sure as hell not Charizard. He died at 85. Yeah. It's not Dude, Charizard's the, job the to die at 85. Of, the mark of a good trainer is like when your Charizard looks like the MVP. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ivysaur right there. Shy Guy shaking his head. Ivysaur dying at about 130. Shy Guy not happy about that. Down to his last stock. And Helper sitting pretty. Only at 8%. Yeah, both of the percent like, and the stock lead. A good Squirtle combo. Like 40, 60%. So. Well, that's definitely How not How much it right is that going to matter when he's down a whole stock, though? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I thought yeah. they were even. All right, never no, mind. No, no, absolutely. Mind. Helper's up a whole stock against our man Shy Guy right here. 
And if he's able to just like not press buttons, uh, not press buttons in the bad spots when he doesn't have to, because Bowser, like I said earlier, I think has better buttons than DDD. He is still a heavy. A lot of his options are still quite laggy. You know, so if he's able to just like, you know, press those, be a little more reserving with them, force his advantage and slowly but surely tack on that damage onto his stock. Even if he loses this stock, he will still be in a wonderful position to win this game. And just tossing him off again, Shy Guy's shaking his head. I'm not sure if he's feeling himself right now. He needs to take this stock now, 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 if he wants to be able to bring this back. Oh, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do it with the side B. Not doing it all yeah, the way to the works, the corner. Yo, he's fi yo, helper, don't fish. Don't fish now. And the invincibility of the getup attack yeah. is so much stronger in this game. Back throw, not going to be able to do it yet. Ivysaur, middleweight character. Honestly, that invincibility on getup attack is like one of my favorite changes. And a forward throw, not going to be able to do anything here, of course. Not a kill throw. Getting the invulnerability off of the grab. The falling fair, shy guy. The man is bleeding against helper right now. Yeah. But a, den a, a lot more options are going to be able to kill right now for sure. The back throw at that percent, absolutely. And all now right, all you helper stay, has to do. You, you go charge art and try to get like a uh, weird flare blitz kill. Well, Squirtle's dead. Oh, and oh, so is Ivysaur. Yeah. And that is going to be helper taking that set yeah. two one I over remember, shy guy. Um, I think I was talking to Riz like in my first tournament for ultimate at Digital Preds. We were talking about Ivysaur. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what his moves look like, but I remember him mentioning like, yeah, Ivysaur new to be like was not safe on hit in Brawl, and I guess that's still the same right now, because you hit him and nothing happened. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, the, the George and the Monkey Man speaking, I think uh, that Ivysaur had no buttons in Brawl because uh, Meta Knight and <laughs> nothing else mattered. 